Children are a gift from God. No, they are. Yes, they are. But they come with so much hustle and bustle and crying. But they're still a gift. Hi, my name is Elaine and welcome back to my channel. My friend Jay and the wife are expecting a baby. So the wife wanted a new chest of drawers to be able to keep the baby's clothes, which is normal. Every newborn mother wants something new, everything new. But once you get the second and the third kid, you're like, ah, they will just survive. I just want a calm baby. I want a peaceful baby. You don't really care about the other things. But anyway, so Jay approached me and told me that um, we really need, he wants the, the chest of drawers sold. I went, I checked it out, and it was actually a very beautiful piece. So, what I did is I loved it and made it just right for the baby. Stay tuned and see how. So this is the chest of drawers. Most of you have seen them along Gong Road. They're very common there on the roadside. So when I get a piece, the first thing I do is usually clean it up. I clean it with an alcohol-based solution and also with an insecticide, depending on where I've gotten the piece. For this one, I was just doing it because it's a routine I'm used to. So clean up all the drawers and make them ready for the paintwork. So I had forgotten to to clean up inside. So you do that because I realized there was also a lot of dust and cobwebs inside. So I took some time to actually wipe the inside before I could go back to removing the knobs. hammer just knock knock out knock them off most of these knobs are usually nailed into the drawer if you're lucky you'll get some that are screwed in and so you'd just use a screwdriver to remove them but if not just knock off the knobs remove the nails to avoid getting hurt and do the same for all the drawers So after then you're done removing the knobs, sand down the surface of the, the sides of the drawer, the sides, um, the faces of the drawer, and then wipe off the dust with a dry piece of cloth before you start painting. So using a brush, obviously, <laughs> I used white paint, which I had mixed with thinner. Mix it to... Um, not a thick consistency, not a thin consistency. As long as it doesn't run, then it is just right. Paint the faces of the drawer, paint the sides. Depending on, on the design you want, for me, I painted everything white. So paint all your surfaces with the first coat of white and repeat the same because white takes some time.
So now it was time for me to do my yellow. I decided to paint yellow in my inside and on the sides just to brighten up the white and to complement the brightness and the sunshine that a baby brings into our lives. So what you're seeing me put, I have yellow in my container. I added in some white just to make the yellow a little bit light. And then I added in thinner to make it... Um, to, to reduce to reduce the thickness and to make it run smoothly then you mix together just with an ordinary stick So now it was time to put the knobs. I got some yellow knobs, bright yellow with gray, um, gray circles, which I intend to put as my knobs. I you would need a drill. If not a drill, I would not recommend a hammer, but a drill would really come in handy. So you will drill in the part, the the places where you removed the previous knobs. I got help from my two daughters, which came in really handy. Um. Yeah, so I drilled in each of the holes, all the eight holes, and then and then put in my knobs. Isn't it lovely? Did you get inspired to actually get the chest of drawer in your house painted and save that money for diapers, which you'll actually need and you will use a lot. So if you found the video inspiring, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe so that you can see the next video as I really loved a vintage chest of drawers. See you then.